they, I don't know what it is with the Gorgas, but they destroy, they make the Gorgas look good, whether they're right or wrong. For some reason, they come out smelling like roses and everybody else, everybody, they did to the Wachilis too. And who so you like, think, you think Bravo like gives them a good edit is what yes, you're saying? Absolutely. I think they favor the Gorgas more than Teresa. That's my, that's from what I'm, what I've seen and what I still see sometimes. All these lawsuits, they have millions of lawsuits happening and they're never spoken about. Teresa's was publicized before it even happened. Like on TMZ, tracing his tenant down. We don't talk about it. Teresa gets a parking ticket. It's blasted all over the place. That's opening credits. Well, I mean, there are a lot of lawsuits mounting or that have come out about the Gorgas. I mean, like, why is none of this on the show? I don't know. I have no idea. Well, you were telling me before, uh, let's just share with everyone, uh, not to talk out of school, but you were telling me, you know, John Fuda also. Love John. I love the whole Fuda family. They did my whole house. Love them. They just got to be careful because I think the Gorgas are going to do them what they did to everybody else. And you, I like I said, nothing bad about them. My Peter, my marble guy actually referred me to Fuda Tiles. And that's how I met Amarellis and his dad and his you know, his mom was at, his mom was actually at the San Cubano show. And then um, when I filmed that Chakra, John Fuda was outside because John had told him to come to make sure everything was good. The whole family's nice. You can't say anything bad about them. But John is a great guy. Stand up. Do you think that John Fuda and Rachel understand what they signed up for? I, mean, I think John's just- very smart. And I think John knows how to... Um, play his cards right. John's not a fool. I think John's, don't underestimate John. He's he's smart. He might have seemed very quiet this season and, you know, backed up, but John's not done. Well, I was going to say, you know, like, you know, what, what, I'm not saying they have anything to hide, but look, do you think the Fudas are, like, know that, I mean, this isn't going to stop. Like, I'm not saying they have anything to hide, but like, if they do, like, they're just, things come out regardless. Sure, they know. Like I, but I don't think John cares. John, John will own it. And you think the Gorgas might do them dirty the way they've done? Yeah, who haven't they gone done dirty to? Yeah, I mean, look what they did to his own. He's done everybody dirty. It's it's for themselves. When people don't have any other business to rely on, this is their only source of income. You're gonna do what you have to do, right? <laughs> Well, I was going to say, because, I mean, listen, a lot of people agree with you about the Gorgas. You know, on the reunion, a lot of people came for Andy and said, you were really lenient on Joe and Melissa, and you really gave it to Teresa. Do you think they kind of had an easy reunion? Like, Andy kind of gave them a pass? They always had an easy reunion. When When have they had a hard reunion? I don't remember one reunion where it wasn't in their favor. Teresa was torn apart. It makes no sense. No. Well, switching gears, and I'm not coming from Melissa, because trust me, I don't got no love loss for Teresa either. I'm just doing my job here. But talk to me about Bulldog. Do you know Bulldog? Yes. You know, I feel very bad for um, Brian. At that time, you saw what they did to him. They caught wins at that, where it all came out, which they didn't air. How funny. What didn't air? We were on the phone, and then everything was being confirmed. Production was there. Teresa acted like she didn't know who I was. And um, I I think toward the middle of it, I was getting tired of the whole... And I remember sa- actually cursing, saying, I'm fucking... I'm done. I'm done. Like, you're not going to play me for a fool. And I was trying to rip off my mic. Um, called up and we had the phone on speaker. Yeah, the cheating rumor was true. And it was confirmed that it happened at Sushi Lounge. Yeah. And so how did this cheat? So you, you brought the, I mean, I do, I do watch the show. Let's just remind everyone that does it. So like you brought the cheating rumor out, Penny, on the show, right? And just to be clear, this is the cheating rumor about Melissa that you then brought out on the show back then, season five. I I guess I did. Yeah. I was asked and I answered it. John was friends with him as well. And they were all tweeting back and forth and um, it was just mayhem. And then there was the other guy though. When that went, you know, they put another gag order on the other guy. That what was, you know, he was in pictures too. He's on my Twitter. Who's the other guy? Oh God, I can't remember his name. He lives down south now. He was like, but but who was he? Like someone, but who was he? Like someone Melissa cheated with? Like he was someone else that brought? Yeah, yeah. What I'm. 
how did this, so like, and it doesn't matter. I'm not coming for you. How did this come? Like, did you want to bring this out on the show? Did Teresa tell you to bring this out on the show? Did producers well, say, wait? To to re- yeah, this was all to prove to Joe that Melissa was no good. And I was, we were all team Teresa. You know, I, we wanted, we knew what she was doing and it was not right. And nobody wants your family member to be taken for granted, especially a sibling. And yeah. then did like Teresa know you were going to bring this out on the yeah. show? I mean, she must Absolutely. Have... Absolutely. So she must have been happy about that. Yeah. At, at the time. But so this phone call with Bulldog, where it was talked about that speakerphone phone call with Bulldog, where you talked about the Melissa cheating rumors, that producers never aired, right? No. And I would think that would have been the first thing they would have aired. I just, after that, I was done. I didn't want to film. I didn't want to do anything. I would say I would show up and not show up. And then they would call John. It was It was a nightmare. And what they didn't air was what, who called Bulldog? You, Penny, or Jay, are you all yeah, of Yeah, Jim was talking to him. Bulldog was tweeting. If you go back, I mean, blog was reposting the tweets about Bulldog was re, Bulldog was tweeting that John would never say anything so malicious about children. Those tweets are like resurfacing now that Bulldog was on at the time. Well, the other thought my mind goes to is maybe not with a lawsuit. Maybe like producers are like, we can't get rid of Melissa. I mean, this is, we got to sweep it under the rug and protect the Gorgas. But why? Because why is a good question. There's millions of people listening to this, watch the show that, I mean, they would have loved to have heard Bulldog on a speakerphone on this. Because at the end, me, Kim, everybody looked like liars. Five hours of filming and you saw two minutes. When this bulldog was talking and said sushi lounge happened and that, yes, Melissa and I kissed, whatever, where was Joe Gorga? Did he hear this? Did he know about this call? Did people know this call took place? That's how that was. Yeah, but then as soon as it got out, the tweets to like his sisters and his family were destroying him. Did Melissa and Joe know about this phone call then? And like, were they involved? I'm sure sure production told them. Because after... um, I never filmed with Melissa because I was always Team Teresa. And um, after her hair launch party, all of a sudden, Melissa's producers called up, I think whoever I was getting in touch with that you were, they got in touch through me, through you, however you want. And Teresa, Melissa wanted to film with me at Chakra. I'm like, I'm not going. I thought it was a complete setup. I was like, you know what? Bring it. Let's go. But then didn't you end up meeting Joe and Melissa anyway? Like what happened with that? First of all, I'll know if they sat me by the bar. We're having dinner or something, supposedly. It's funny because they came all the way to Paramus to have dinner at Shock. And I was just sitting at the bar by myself. And um, they, Joe, I remember, came up to me. Melissa claimed she saw me from a distance. You know how they play dumb. Um, and Joe comes over with drinks and he goes, we want to talk to you. And I said, well, if you want to talk to me like a man, by all means, sit and talk. But if you're going to act like an animal, I'm not playing this with you. He was very nice. Um, he was asking me who was the one, if Teresa knew about the whole situation with Brian and everything. And I was, you know, I was taking the heat for it. Remember, he says to me, you know, you're the most hated person in America right now for what you're doing to my wife. That's fine. I'll take it. I still wasn't budging. I was not budging. Fine. I'll be hated. I don't care. But who am I going to be hated by? Just just get on the line and let me know when you're up. And then he's like, you're lying. I'm like, I'm not lying. I have your sister's number. So I showed him my phone. I'm like, is this her number? He goes, yeah. I'm like, not lying. And um, that's when they sort of like took a step back. But 